Lady Ella here again. On the second day of Christmas, Spare Frog sent to you a second Christmas message. Thanks to Lady Ella. Well, welcome back. It's Andy Nicholl here again, and welcome to day two of the 12 days of Spy Fox Christmas. Thank you so much for your reaction to our launch yesterday. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just, uh, I will warn you, the next uh, 10 days will not be as long as that first video, but it was just great the reaction we've had. So keep going to the website, keep sharing it on social media, and let's get that Christmas message out from Spy Fox as far and wide as possible. So again, we're here to, to raise money as much as we can. Thanks for the bid so far. It's amazing, the, the lapel badges and the pin badges that I launched yesterday already so many have been bought so just to remind you that the gold are worth hundred pound the silver is 50 pound and the purple are 20 pounds so when you come every year to spy fox and we ask you to put 20 pound in an envelope we're doing we're asking you to do something different this year and buy those pin badges so keep doing it it's absolutely fantastic details of how you can do that are on the screen and we'll direct you to the website we know that charities in this pandemic are really struggling so your generosity this year will be felt even even deeper than it has done over the years. And another charity that we've supported over the years, I'm going to, we're going to show a short video for you now, is one called Sepsis. So please watch this video and you'll see how your money has helped this wonderful charity. Hello, my name is Dr Colin Begg. I'm a consultant paediatric intensivist at the Royal Hospital for Children in Glasgow and a trustee of the charity Sepsis Research. Thanks to a very generous donation by SpyFox, channeled to the hospital by Sepsis Research, we now have six monitors helping us in the early detection of sepsis in young children. We're using these monitors in two acute wards to constantly check for any signs of deterioration in their condition. The monitors record and track an infant or child's clinical status, detecting changes in heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature and blood pressure. This allows for faster response and treatment, contributing to improved, effective sepsis diagnosis and management. Since we started using the equipment, several hundred children have benefited from it. The monitors help us to save lives and prevent the other devastating consequences that sepsis can cause. I'm in the front line treating this illness and I know from personal experience how helpful these monitors have been. So from sepsis research and everyone here at the Royal Hospital for Children, Thank you to Spy Fox and a very Merry Christmas to you and all your supporters. So again, you can see how your money has really helped uh, a charity like Sepsis over the years. And so your generosity is so important for charities like Sepsis and all the others that we're going to support. And a big way of doing that is through the auction. Every year the auction downstairs is one of the highlights, isn't it? And we raise so much money when you get two drunk tables competing against each other. We don't have that this year, obviously, uh, but we, we've certainly been blown away by how generous you've been so far. So if I can direct you, please, to the website, the details are on the screen now, and look at the nine auction items that we've got, nine fantastic prizes. I won't go into them in any detail. They're all the details are there on the website, but please dig deep and raise as much money for these wonderful charities as we possibly can. So we heard his first message yesterday. So here is Fred McCauley with the day two of Fred's Bits. <laughs> Thanks again, Andy. Uh, it's good to be back. And I say back, it might look as though I've never been away and that we recorded this all in the one day. Um, I came through to do this from where I live, which is in South Lanarkshire, as I said the other day. And uh, I'm in a wee village called Thornton Hall, which is, it's all right. It's, it's quite nice. And it's, uh, it's kind of well known in the south side of Glasgow for having a few footballers, a couple of people in entertainment. And until last year, we had Baroness Michelle Moan, who lived in the village and her house was a stone's throw from mine. And that's something I know to be an absolute fact because it was me that was throwing the stones. And uh, the people that bought the house had a lot of slates to repair when they moved in. Don't know how that happened. I've lived in the Glasgow area for nearly 40 years, but I'll never be able to fully consider myself 100% Glaswegian, because I've retained the ability to mind my own business, which Glasgow people simply cannot do. Edinburgh folk will know if you encounter a Glaswegian, and they'll be like, all right, where are you from? Edinburgh, is it? Aye, I've heard about that. Never been. Got to Falkirk once. Got in the train, went back home. Somebody told me, get to Falkirk. So I did. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. I've retained the ability to mind my own business. It was me that was throwing the stones. Thanks, Fred, and apologies to any of you who may be from Falkirk.
So that's us. We're almost done with day two of the 12 days of Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, keep giving generously to all the various uh, charitable donations that we can through the pin badges or the auction. And uh, just to remind you that there'll be no message for the next two days. Over the weekend, we're doing the 12 working days till Christmas. So we'll be back with you on Monday. So have a great weekend. Keep that Christmas shopping going. Keep that Christmas spirit up. And to pipe us out today, we have got one of the other pipers. And this time it is Angus Lutton. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.